What is this place? Look at how clear this water is. You can see the bottom and it's like 10 feet deep here. Well, we're in Lake Tahoe today. It's probably the biggest lake. I I'm sure it's the biggest lake in California. It might be the biggest lake in the Western, I don't know, Western United States. I'm not sure. But anyways, it's a big lake and I've never fished it before. And today we're gonna be out here fishing it from the kayak. So we'll see what happens. This water is super clear. I mean, if there was any fish right here, I would see them, but there's not. So we're gonna get out to a little bit deeper water. I think it's where we gotta go to find some fish. We just throw on these sunglasses. Oh my God, dude, we can see everything. Every little boulder. And if there was any fish in here, I would be able to see them. We're getting out to deeper water. We're gonna see what happens. Like I said, I've never fished this lake. And yeah, let's see what happens. That's one of the cool things I think about fishing a place where you've never been before is you really don't know what you're going to catch. I mean, I know what's in here. I know there's a bunch of different kinds of trout, there's bass, but I don't know what part of the lake to hang out in. I don't know how deep I should be fishing. I did bring a downrigger today, so I'm going to be able to fish down deep if I need to. Um, yeah, I got to look for some ledges, I think is what I need to find. So right here, it's really flat. I mean, there's rocks and stuff here, but I need some drop off. I need to find some deeper water. I think that's where these fish are going to be holding out in. But anyways, that's the plan. Let's see what happens. So before we get started, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video. And the sponsor of today's video is Lucky Craft. Now you've seen me use Lucky Craft uh, probably not hundreds of times, but many, many times in the surf and in the ocean. Um, but I don't think I've ever used the Lucky Craft in fresh water, which is exactly what we're going to do. It hooks me up with some cool little jerk baits here. That's one of them. That's a pointer 50. It's a sinking jerk bait, two inch. Uh, I think it dives down to about two feet. And then I also have this one right here. I'm gonna tie this on my other other line. And I'll put this one on the downrigger. So this is a floating jerk bait. Uh, or so, sorry, it's a suspending pointer 65. I think that means it's 65 millimeters long. Two and a half inches about. Anyways, both really good minnow imitations. And you know one thing, fish eat other fish in general. So I guess I'll just start off by just speed trolling it out. Kind of looking for that ledge I know thing. I'm gonna put this one, top line this one, the sinking one, and then I'll put the suspending one on the downrigger down here, get that down a little deeper, couple, cover a couple of different water columns, and hopefully see if I can find some fish. I got a fish finder too try to mark some fish. I mean, I can still see the bottom here and it's 15 feet and I don't see any fish yet, but who knows? I think there should be a drop off around here somewhere. Try just kind of exploring around the lake and see what happens. A couple of things I'm excited for, not only fishing a new area, just kind of exploring, see what I can find out here, but also just the challenge of trying to catch a fish in somewhere I've never been before. Uh, I'm not going with the guide. I just kind of like that challenge of seeing, testing my fishing skills, I guess you say. Anyways, we'll see what happens. So clear. So because it's so clear, I'm using really light line. I mean, I always like to use light line when I'm trout fishing anyways, but I think today it's going to be especially, especially important just because this water is so clear. Trout being such a good, having such good eyesight, I think it's really going to benefit us. Yeah, we're gonna hit trolling speed here pretty soon. I'm definitely getting into deeper water, which is what I'm looking for. I also have Navionics right here, which kind of give me a little idea of what the bottom should look like. All right, so a little update. I just feel like they're not gonna be on top, so I put, I actually stacked both rods on the downrigger here. So this one is down probably like 60 feet, and then this one is down about 40 feet. So both having the same lures on, I might switch those up in a little bit here if this doesn't work out, but we're right on the ledge. So it goes right from like 40 feet down to like 150, 200 feet relatively quickly. So I wanna be, I'm gonna kinda of weed back and forth right on the edge of that ledge and I think that should be where some fish are hiding should be hiding theoretically so that's the plan for now no hits yet but like I said we're gonna start weaving back and forth on the edge of this ledge um, and 
and see if we can entice a fish to bite. I'm not marking too much on the fish finder, so I'm not sure what's down there, but I just feel like they gotta be on the edge of the, the edge of the ledge. Just sounds good. I feel like the fish should be there, so. I got one. Fish. Trying to stay clear of all my other lines here. Don't know what kind of fish it is, but it is a fish. Pretty sure. There's also quite a few other boats around here, so we're trying to dodge those kind of those guys. All friendly boats, though. I think this is a lake trout. Let's see. Coming up. Yeah. Lake trout. Never caught one of these guys before. So that is right there is a lake trout, otherwise known as Mackinac trout. I think there's a few different names for it, but that's that's a pretty small one, I think, compared to how big, pretty sure these guys can get. I think they can get probably 20, 30 pounds. It's probably just a you know, one or two pounder, but look. I think it's been feeding well. Look at that belly, like bulging. I'm trying to feel, there's gotta be something inside there. But anyways, we'll let him go. Give him a quick release. A little Mackinac trout. All right, we'll give him a quick release. So cool in this super clear water. I guess next time I should do an up close release. Well, that fish was right where I thought he would be, right on the edge of that ledge. The edge of the ledge, like I was saying. I was trolling right at 60 feet, and I was going right in, in between that, like I didn't want to drag, you don't want to drag your downrigger cable or your ball on the, on the bottom, because you're just asking for trouble to get snagged up and caused a huge mess but that fish was right at I think I was trolling about 60 feet down and I was just going right up to like 60 feet and then going back into 80 60 80 just trying to keep that bait right on the bottom because I think that's where these fish are gonna be hanging out so anyways we'll try and re repeat that one two three four five six seven oh by the way if you've never used one of these downriggers before each turn of the downrigger is about one foot so that's why I'm counting it out. Each turn, one foot. One, three, two, three, four, five, nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, three, fifty-four, fifty-six. Let's do fifty-six. I don't want to drag my my downrigger ball on the bottom, like I was saying. So if it gets snagged up, it just causes a huge, huge inconvenience. But as close to the bottom as possible, and I think there's going to be potential for other trout down there as well, not just those big. Or that was a tiny lake trout, but you know, there's potential for big lake trout. I think there's also potential for brown trout or rainbow trout. Don't really know. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep trolling here. I also still have this one. I just took this one off now. I think I'm just gonna put it on the top line. By the way, that was on this guy right here. That's the suspending pointer 65. Pointer 65 SP. I know you can't see the lure in there here. Different color, but same lure as this one right here. So shout out to Lucky Craft. Like I said, nice little bait fish imitation. Everything eats a bait fish, pretty much. At least all predatory fish. Down. there's definitely fish down there I mean that was like maybe one or two minutes after I got it back down into the into the sweet spot 
So I think that's definitely a good area down there. This one might be a little bigger, maybe. Another thing I'm trying to do is I bring these fish and I'm trying to kind of bring them up somewhat slow um, rather than just yank them up super fast. But because they're coming down from so deep, just the decompression of the different water pressure would really injure that fish a little bit more if, if I were to just you know yank them up super quick. So just bring them up nice and slow. It'll just make for an easier release. I don't intend to keep any fish today. Hopefully just gonna release them all as long as they stay nice and healthy like this one looks like it is. Man, look at the fish in the clear water though. You know, they are very similar to the uh, bull trout that I caught up in Canada actually, but these are landlocked fish. Definitely don't go in the salt water. There he goes. Crank up the downrigger. Again, crank. All right. We'll look for number three. I'm gonna try going a little bit deeper. We're in a hundred feet now. Let's try to see if there's a big one down down deep here. Let's try it once. Let's see what happens. Down 80 feet this time. Let's see if there's a big one down there. That's a fish. That's a fish. There? Yeah. Yep, fish on, fish on. Coming up from 80 feet this time. I don't know if it's gonna be any bigger than the last one. It feels pretty similar, but we'll see. It's about the same. There is, oh, maybe a little bit bigger. I don't know, probably about the same. Fish number three. Right that edge of the ledge, and it shouldn't be long before this thing gets hit again. I don't think there's any extraction points over here, otherwise I'd go there, or I'd stay here, but... Oh yeah, another fish right now. It's literally hitting as we speak. Alright, okay, I'll call you guys back. Sorry guys, I was on the phone, but luckily the fishing here is so easy, I wasn't too concerned. We're just going to go right back over that spot and get another one, but that was definitely a fish that was on there. I thought it just popped off on its own, but I think there's a fish on here. Come on down, little guy. That's funny, I thought that just popped off the downrigger on its own, but it was actually a fish. like a little bit darker than the other two or the other three for some reason. Let's pop this hook out. 
like I said before, we only had a couple hours out here, so I gotta get moving. All right, look is out. One last look. water moving through those gills. Oh, there he goes. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Look at this wonderful view behind me. It was a fun day out here, fun to do something a little bit different. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be getting back out in salt water very, very soon. But, Lake Trout, check them off my list. I do wanna give one last quick shout out to Crispy Fish. He gave me a few tips out here that made things a lot easier to help me find these Lake Trout. So, check him out. He also came out here and filmed a video, and I don't know if he's gonna post it before this one or after, but should check him out regardless. Another Bay Area angler if you haven't heard of him. I'll leave him linked in the description. But thank you guys again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys on the next one.